Bruce, there it is. Bruce Boudreaux has been confirmed as returning to coach the Vancouver Canucks for the 2022-2023 season. I am Canuck Clay, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Friday, May the 13th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. Thanks to everyone who joined me for my live stream last night. My first public live stream since May 1st, so it was about a week and a half uh, between streams, and it went really well. Got some very generous people donating, and of course, more importantly, people there engaging, talking, asking, answering, spoiling Gordo. It was a wonderful time, so thanks to everyone who joined me last night. Big news today, not really a surprise, even though it was a little bit touch and go for a little while, as I mentioned in yesterday's vlog and a couple other vlogs, but we have a formal confirmation that Bruce Boudreaux will indeed return to coach the Vancouver Canucks for next season, the 2022-2023 season. You're saying, well, Clay, why is this even a story? This seemed like to be a no-brainer, especially after the Canucks went 32-15-10 underneath Boudreaux uh, from December 6 on. That's 17 points over 500. That is a 649 points percentage. Uh, that is extrapolates to 104, 105 point season overall, if over 82. So what's the deal? Why wouldn't the, the Canucks miss the playoffs by only four or five points? So why was there an issue about bringing Boudreaux back? Well, it all started, as I mentioned yesterday, when Boudreaux said that he wants to come back. He was on his way out of town after the, the season ended. And he said, yeah, I expect to be back. I want to be back. And the club knows I want to be back. And I think the club wants to be back. But then... Uh, two days later, or a day later, it was Jim Rutherford, the president of hockey operations, saying, we will not extend Bruce Brujo past this upcoming year. We're going to honor the terms of the original contract, one year plus an option year. Both the Canucks and Brujo had an option to opt in or out. And then we'll talk about extension later, but let's see a full season under Bruce Brujo, including training camp, including preseason, including a full season. So that got a lot of people talking, including me. And we we're wondering, oh, is that kind of disrespectful? And Jim Rutherford was talking about how he wants to play with more structure, get out of the zone easier, not rely on the goalie so much. All these things, and we're like, ooh, if, if, and I talked about this yesterday, because there's then there's this report that Boudreaux wanted to come back, but they needed a couple important minor details to be resolved. And we don't know what those details, maybe we'll find out what they are coming up, but we speculated. Maybe it was. I said he didn't like the way that Rutherford went to the media. Maybe there was a, a, a lack of trust there, or miscommunication there. Maybe he wanted a say in his own coaching staff or training staff. Who knows? Bottom line, at the end of the day, all these cliches, it doesn't matter because Boudreaux is back for yet another season. And then after the season, we can figure out what happens from there. What happens if he re-signs with the Canucks? I guess a lot will depend on how well they do this season or whether or not he looks elsewhere. Now, this looking elsewhere thing was kind of tricky because June 1 was the deadline. And that was another thing that kind of surprised everyone when Rutherford went out and said, he actually said in the press conference that June 1 is the deadline. Usually you don't bring, people, reporters will find them out or whatever, or sources will, but usually don't flat out say, Here's the deadline. Because in essence, Rutherford was kind of putting the ball in Bruce's court saying, we want you here for at least one more year, one year at a time, but now it's up to you to decide. And I wouldn't say they're putting Boudreaux in a bad spot or they're making him look like the bad guy, but they certainly were ceding control of the situation back to him. Meaning, we've done our part. We've already said that we want you back. Now it's up to you. So if you come back, all good. But if you don't come back, then that was actually on you because you knew and everyone else knew that we want you, we want you back. So that's kind of an interesting thing. That's kind of an interesting thing, an interesting dynamic. And I'll, I'll get to my question in a second. So for you. So when it comes to Bruce Boudreaux, then coming back, a couple of things. He hit the 1,000 game milestone back in January, which is pretty awesome. He's at 599 career wins, so he just needs one more win. He didn't get it at the end of the season. He needs one more career win, win to get to 600. So. Um, good news. I, I don't want to prolong this video. There's nothing really new that I haven't said before. Uh, so Bruce Boudreaux is back. Bruce, there it is. In the comments below, tell me, now that he's coming back, A, how excited are you? I think I know the answer. But B, 
are you okay? I guess the more important question is, are you okay with how this last month transpired? Do you think it's a little bit funky, the way that the media availability went, the, the way they're talking through the media, or do you think it's all fair, especially when it comes to business and an important transaction and decision such as this? Leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, and reply as always. Shout out to Perform and Transform, Personal Training Weight Loss, and Advanced City Experts Real Estate Group, Jason Lim and his team, and to my members, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Justin Credible, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Brufield, Shannon Hollingworth, HSM Fangirl, Gaming Smooth Groove, and Carol Bovenlander. Thanks to the support of all members of all levels, and thanks for, to all of you. You are listed in my video descriptions. That's all members, that is. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the Join button underneath this or my videos or the Memberships tab on my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you'd like to. Like the video if you'd like to. Leave me a tip as a super thanks if you'd like to become a member or upgrade if you'd like to. And definitely leave a comment down below if you'd like to. Are you okay with how this whole thing transpired? Let me know in the comments below. Stay safe, stay healthy. Oh, if you made it this far, six minutes in, obvious, we gotta go. Bruce, there it is. Type that in the comments. That way I know that you made it to the end of this shorter video, six minutes. Bruce, there it is. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Have a great day. God bless and go Canucks go.